Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, man, understand that the Hurt Season hats are still in effect. We got dad hats, we got snapbacks, we got all that. All of that. Also, shout out to Manscaped. This video was brought to you by Manscaped. Listen, man, Manscaped just dropped the lawnmower 4.0. Mine's is on the way. I just got my shipping from Big Manscaped. Make sure you do the same. Use code Brunson. Save yourself 20% off and get free shipping. And free shipping, I fought for that for y'all. Nobody wants to pay shipping. So go ahead, be there, be square. Get your lawnmower 4.0. Just came out the other day. And also, oh my God, shout out to y'all that have been pre ordering the rock, paper, scissors, Devontae Smith edition shirts man go ahead and grab that too from the print champs it's just going up so many things happening man and dm me if you want a code too man i'm getting i'm giving out the code all weekend dm me if you want a code for additional savings man go ahead and do listen the philadelphia eagles are grabbing running backs at will at, at, at some point so if, in case you've been hiding under a rock and 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 before I really, really get into the meat and potatoes, shout out to my guy, Philly 500. I was supposed to be on his live today at 530. Something came up at work. Yes, I do YouTube, but I also still have a job. Had to go and take care of that. So me and Philly 500 going to synchronize our schedules. Um, sometime early next week, I'm, hope, 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 I'm hopeful for that. Sometime early next week. So, you know, shout out to my guy, 5 double But the Philadelphia Eagles claim the Detroit Lions, former second round pick, Kerryon Johnson, running back. Kerryon Johnson, not no slouch. I mean, Kerryon Johnson is good in the passing game. Kerryon Johnson is a great is a great guy to pick up the blitz at the running back position. Kerryon Johnson runs strong. He just hasn't had a lot of opportunities. He's never been like the lead back. You know what I'm saying? And he has some upside to him. Now, a lot of people are saying, how many running backs are the Philadelphia Eagles going to get? As many as they need. Because I'll tell you what, this is the Nick Sirianni's offense. This ain't the Doug Peterson way of, way of life. This is Nick Sirianni coming from the Colts with a two-headed monster running back. Making sure they don't put a lot of pressure on Phillip Rivers. The more running backs, the merrier. The more running backs with this skill set. So now you're talking about Jordan Howard. You're talking about Kerryon Johnson. You're talking about Kenneth Gainwell. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about Boston Scott. You're talking about uh, Adrian Killens. Listen, we got to stack up the practice squad. Everybody can't touch the pill every week. But 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 be mindful, you are able to carry, I think, 60 players now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Something like that. So we are, I think we're truly about to be a running back by committee situation. So Miles Sanders getting 1,000 yards is very unlikely the way it's looking like it's folding. We're trying to have as many fresh running backs as possible. You know what I'm saying? As many fresh running packs, as many fresh running backs with game legs. Give guys some touches. If you spread out Miles Sanders and Jordan Howard, um, 14 touches a piece, you you got something going for yourself because you know they're, they're going to be one or two design runs for Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is going to make a lot of stuff happen on the ground with his legs as well. If you give Miles Sanders and Jordan Howard 14, and running backs get banged up a lot. So there will be some, it's going to be some wiggle room to be able to use a guy like Kerryon Johnson. I absolutely love, I, I love the signing. We claimed them off waivers. Didn't really cost us nothing. You know what I'm saying? I absolutely love it. I love it. The Philadelphia Eagles have to make sure they're deep at running back. You don't want to run into a situation again to where Boston Scott is your lead back. That was a bad situation to be in. Boston Scott is just truly too small. And Boston Scott, honestly, honestly, Boston Scott doesn't have break, the breakaway speed you would like from a running back at that size and weight. He just don't got it. You know what I'm saying? Boston Scott, Boston Scott has been caught from behind a few times. No knock to Boston Scott, but it is what it is. But you're not catching Kerryon Johnson from behind nine times out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Howard has more power than Boston Scott. So I like the tandem of Miles Sanders, Kerryon Johnson, and Jordan Howard. I like that to be our, 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 our three running backs going into this season. Kenneth Gainwell is still going to make the roster, but understand that Kenneth Gainwell can run the ball and he can line up at the slot. He can line up on the outside as well. So we got some guys, man. Now, now, now it's all about using our minds as coaches and seeing what's the best fit for these guys. That's what it's about. This is an exciting claim. Or this is an exciting guy to pick up. I'm not worrying about nobody taking food off Miles Sanders' plate. I'm not worrying about it. 
You know what I'm saying? Miles Sanders, without being the workhorse, has consistently gotten 800 yards. Miles is going to get his. Miles is going to be the one that bursts out the 50-yard gains. But when you constantly have a defense, that's we. I'm sorry, when you have an offense in a running game, and this the way we build in this offensive line, the way we can wear opposing teams down with Landon Collins, with this healthy offensive line, with Lane Johnson coming back, Brooks still being on the roster for now, my lot in the crew, the way that we can be seemingly able to wear people down, you just gotta love it. You just gotta love it. And the running game is gonna be a huge part of that. The running game is gonna be a huge part of that. So I, I, I'm excited. You need running backs and you need offensive linemen to be able to sort away games. We got the right game plan, y'all. We got the right game plan. We're making the right picks. We picking the right dudes up. Don't y'all see the difference from between years previous don't y'all see the difference? I'm seeing the real difference from free agent signings. I'm seeing the difference. The only thing that the only thing that boggles the mind about this carry on Johnson pickup is that, you know, Deuce Staley went over there. Deuce Staley is a running back guy. I'm talking about Detroit now. I would have thought Deuce Staley would have saw the value in carry on Johnson and would have fought to keep him. So, you know what I mean? Hopefully it's not an issue to where he just, he just can't. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You just gotta you gotta wonder why Deuce Staley wouldn't want to keep a guy like this. But listen, man, the Philadelphia Eagles are building the correct way now. They're building the correct way now. We just gotta be ecstatic about that being Philadelphia Eagles fans. We need as many running backs as we can get. Because like I said, we don't want to end up in a situation to where somebody undersized has to be the lead back. This has been happening for the last three years. Remember, we went into a playoff game, I think it was with um was it with Darren Sproles and Wendell Smallwood against uh who do we beat against the against against the Bears in the playoffs? Come on, man, who wants to be going through that in the cold one in the cold winter months when it's playoff time? You gotta be smart. You gotta have these big dudes. You gotta have these guys that's gonna be able to run behind this physical offensive line. That's that's not afraid to cut the ball up the field. And I like I, and I like where Nick Sirianni had that. And I like I like where Howie Roseman had that this year. I like man. It's a, it's a lot to be it's a lot to be optimistic about. And the Philadelphia Eagles are on the right path to making sure that if anything else fails, we will be able to run the ball and get positive yardage. Because too many times, too many times we've been in situations with Doug Peterson to where we weren't able to do that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man.